So one afternoon, a concerned member of public came down to the Wildlife Hospital. They had sighted a roo in our campus that had an injury to its front paw. We were asked to go and have a look for it and just decided ourselves by the vets here. He did have a minor wound on his paw and a couple on his leg. We decided that we wanted to see if we could help along his wounds to heal and just make sure that there was no other obvious injuries going on. Yeah, I spotted him yesterday. I think he seemed to be taking shelter here because he's nice and safe. With the vets, we sedated him to avoid myopathy. Okay, up there. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, let go. And took him down to one of our larger dog ex exercise yards to control the release once he was awake from sedation. Okay, strong pulse. Strong pulse, awesome. Yeah. Heart sounds really good, chest is nice and clear. So it does look a little bit yucky and funky. So yeah, he's definitely got some infection going on in that nail bed. Good thing is though, I don't think he's got any fractures into that bone, which is really, really good. So he's got a big scab over this wound. So he's really started to heal that on his own, but we'll just help him along by giving him some antibiotics and some pain relief. While we've got him out, we'll make sure we do a full check on him and make sure that he's got nothing else that would be causing him any discomfort. So once the vets got him out, we discovered not only did he have a wound on his paw, but he had some on his legs, on his tail, on his face, along his jaw and his nose. And he would be, definitely be a breeding age at the size. He would be about 60 kilos. Yeah. He's one of our resident roos and actually he's probably a, a solitary male. He's um, definitely loved here at the Wacol campus. So this is just some flamazine. It's just a topical anti yeah. antiseptic. And this will just help with the yeah, granulation process. Sorry, it's on your whiskers. Um, just trying to get a good heart rate for him, just to see how he's traveling. So you'd lucky we knocked him out because we initially just thought he had that wound, yeah, but yeah. we've actually found he's got this wound yeah. on his back leg. Okay, what are we gonna name him? Cole. Cole? Yeah. Cole, like Cole. Wait, Cole. Cole. We'll go Cole. His name is Cole. And hopefully we keep seeing him around the campus and we can keep an eye on him. After a couple of hours, opened up the gates and let him free roam back out into the campus. He still has been sighted around the campus and we are continuing to keep an eye on him and at this stage we are not have any further concerns about him and his wounds seem to be healing nicely. I thought Cole's procedure went really well um, and um, it looked like he recovered really well by the evening before I left work that day. I've seen him over the years, yeah. Still sits around, sits up on campus or he just sits outside of the campus, up on the Sometimes. I think he's like the common local that we've been seeing regularly around here, the big guy. He, yeah, generally likes to stick up the front, but occasionally he'll come down in between the buildings and scare us in between the two buildings here at a yard and the grass patch. This gives a bit of a surprise in the afternoon sometimes when you're leaving. You've never shown any signs of aggression, he's lovely, like he just doesn't even care you're there really. It's kind of nice now that we've been able to help him get better and release him out and still see him around the campus and healthy. I do hope to see him around. Apparently he's a campus favourite, so um, it'd be good to see how he's recovered. I'm really happy that Cole's out there roaming around Waco. Um, I've heard word that people have seen him and I'm really, really happy. So hopefully he'll be around for years to come.